Hello, welcome to this new tutorial where we'll learn the song Tech Noir by Gone Ship. All presets used here are from our Dark Synth Serum package. Without further ado, let's listen to the song. Let's start with a key element of the song, the bass. We crafted this bass in Serum. Let's see how. In our A oscillator, we have a basic MG form, with some frequency modulation from B oscillator, two octaves down. Our sub oscillator has this waveform, also two octaves down. In B oscillator, we've used an I has can kick waveform. Sync around 1.5, all modulated by envelope 1, which is controlling the level of all three oscillators. Envelope 2 is modulating the filter cutoff. And as usual, our LFO is modulating the amp. To achieve this, we head to the matrix. Here we select our LFO and route it to our amp. We then have a different bass that kicks in during the chorus. Let's hear it. Note, it's quite distorted. We first use a Cine waveform on oscillator A. It's still modulated by the frequency from oscillator B. In oscillator B, we have I has can kick waveform, an octave lower. Envelope 2 modulates the filter cutoff. Our resonance is about 50%. The trick to this preset lies in our effects. We have a hyperdimension and a chorus. Our compression and distortion are most vital. Let's hear it without these. Now with multiband mode compression and distortion. The equalizer slightly boosts the high frequencies. That's essentially it. Next, we approach this synth playing the main melody. Let's hear it. We've used an I has can kick waveform on oscillator A and a basic waveform on oscillator B, including some frequency modulation from oscillator A. It's vital to have our attack at 900 milliseconds. Now with zero attack. We prefer it around 900.
Envelope 2 modulates the filter cutoff for a slow opening. The magic of this preset is in the effects, including reverb, delay, compression, and hyperdimension. Let's listen without the effects. Now with the effects. Now let's move on to our chords. Let's give them a listen. The difference here is that we have two layers, but they are the same chords. Our first layer generates all the treble. The second layer generates all the body and warmth. Let's check how we did the first layer. We use a sweep 20 waveform on oscillator A. I has can kick waveform on oscillator B. The trick is our envelope 2 is modulating the filter cutoff with a quite high resonance. The effects include a filter and equalization that cut high frequencies. We have reverb and multiband compression. A chorus, a phaser, and hyperdimension. In the second layer, we have a basic waveform on oscillator A and a Juno waveform on oscillator B with some frequency modulation from oscillator A. Envelope 2 modulates the levels of both oscillators and the filter cutoff. The effects include delay, reverb, compression, distortion, and hyperdimension. Without the effects, it sounds quite different. Now, let's reintroduce the effects. Layers together sound like this. This is the chord progression we use. Now let's move to the other chord progression. To create this preset, we used a PWM C64 waveform on oscillator A and a PWM D5 on oscillator B. Our envelope 1 modulates the filter cutoff. The effects include hyperdimension, chorus, delay, reverb, and equalization, which slightly boost the high frequencies. Let's hear it with them reintroduced. Our LFO modulation creates an effect of slight detune. LFO1 and LFO2 both modulate them. And that covers the presets. Let's move on to the drums. Let's give them a listen. Now for just the kick. We've added a second layer. Now let's hear the snare.
It's got a hint of reverb. Here's how it sounds without it. We've got this hi-hats progression. These two have a hint of reverb. Likewise, these hi-hats are open. We've toned down their high frequency slightly. We've got these claps coming in. Finally, we have these toms sounding like this. They're being panned from left to right to widen the stereo image. And that wraps it up. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to subscribe. See you in the next one. Cheers.